Yes, absolutely. CBMA curriculum has given a new insight to MBBS learning. Now, as a student, whenever you come to a particular question, you always ask yourself three important questions, and that is when, why, and how that particular thing happened. Now, back in the olden times, whenever we used to give these entrance examinations, we used to have these 19 subjects, and they were segregated. We used to read them separately, and then we used to come finally to the question and answer session. And we used to be asked very straightforward questions, very frankly speaking. Suppose if there is a question, then it will be what is the nerve supply of this particular structure. But that is not the scenario currently. Currently, you are facing the next exam, and next exam is all based on connecting dots to find out how well you know the theory as well as the practice. So what they will give you? They will give you a clinical scenario rather than giving a straightforward question and answer. Now that let's say that clinical scenario can be, for example, a lady. who went to the emergency and that lady is showing some symptoms of a brain infection so you will be given certain clinical symptoms a list of laboratory values or let's say you will be given a radiological scan and then you will be given a microbiological slide and finally on the basis of all of this you will have to figure out what the diagnosis of this lady is and you will be given your four options so what has happened here it is not about one single subject and you know the answer that yes i read medicine and i know the answer here what it is you have to connect all of your subjects whatever you know in your whole curriculum and then finally come to a diagnosis that includes pharmacology your basic subjects like pathology microbiology then finally the clinical subjects and then the allied subject knowledge and then finally you have your diagnosis so what has changed here the approach has changed and that is what cbme is all about your approach towards subject should not be singular that i want to read anatomy and it's done it should be integrated that if you are suppose going for an examination like next you will have a plethora of questions in which there will be links links between various subjects so you will try to figure out among these links and dots so there's a lot of parallel thinking will come out and then you will finally come to a diagnosis so this is how cbme curriculum will help you in your next exams